come Holy Spirit come and enkindle in us the fire of your love send forth your spirit and we shall be created and as we are created we ask you to renew the face of our lives and our destinies renew the face of our families renew the face of our loved ones and everything that we care about we ask you Holy Spirit to renew the face of the earth O oh God grant that by the power of your spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations we make this prayer through Christ our Lord amen my dear friends I would like to welcome you to the 17th day of the Holy Spirit conference today I would like us to focus on the gift of knowledge the gift of knowledge knowledge could be explained as the supernatural insight and access into the past the present and the future events with a view to preferring solutions to get access into happenings to get access into occurrences sometimes occurrences that even predict your own birth so that's knowledge the supernatural insight and access into the past the present and future events so there is a certain element of knowledge in prophecy but we are not talking about prophecy here we are talking about knowledge the supernatural insight and the access that you have into the past present events with a view to preferring solutions you get access into happenings knowledge is the ability to judge correctly when it comes to matters of faith and taking the right action so that you don't wander from the straight path of God and from the path of justice. You know, our world is full of wickedness and we need this dimension of the Holy Spirit that can help us to go back in time and piece together useful information that can help us to interpret the current happenings in our lives and forecast into the future with hope. Because oftentimes, the secret to the future is in the past. The past can be used as a key to interpret and unlock the present and the future. And the gift of knowledge can help us sustain that kind of all-seeing eye to go back to see and to understand. So the purpose of this gift is to primarily supply information to build the faith and the conviction of believers. To provide you information that can help in your interpretation of today's events. So, so you must note that the gifts of knowledge and prophecy work hand in hand. They are like two parties. You get that in two parties. You know, oftentimes people mistake and interchange the two gifts, but they are two parties. They look the same, but they are not the same. And in fact, what many people call today as prophecy is actually the manifestation of the gift of knowledge, past, present, future. So pray for this gift. You need it. The ability, that supernatural insight to assess past, present events with a view to bringing solutions, to getting access into happiness and occurrences. The ability to judge correctly when it comes to matters of faith. The ability to judge correctly when it comes to spiritual matters. The ability to judge correctly when it comes to existential crisis that you face in these dimensions knowledge so in john chapter 1 verse 45 to 51 we hear the discussion can anything good come out of nazareth and this discussion came up when philip told nathaniel he had found a christ and jesus would say about nathaniel i found an israelite in whom there is no girl he would tell him while you were under the tree sitting i saw you this clearly is knowledge not prophecy and if you fast forward Jesus and the Samaritan woman. Jesus would tell the Samaritan woman, Oh, five husbands you have. The sixth one is not your husband. That is the gift of knowledge at work. So the town folks will say, We now believe because we have encountered the level of knowledge that you are operating with. Listen up, my dear friends. Never ever fight the gift of the Holy Spirit. It may be abused by some unscrupulous persons but never ever fight the gift of the holy spirit it is a powerful instrument for the building of the faith for your own spiritual capacity building so yesterday we talked about wisdom today we are talking about knowledge let this gift help you 
with this gift of knowledge god just learns you in a way and you speak a powerful word to your family you speak a powerful word to some friends you speak a powerful word to some elders some associates and everyone is wondering where, where, where did you get this kind of knowledge from where did you get it from where did you get it from like the way people look at me and they are amazed and they are like where do you get these things from the gift of knowledge fellowship with the holy spirit will reveal them to you fellowship with the holy spirit will reveal them to you the gift of knowledge the gift of knowledge it's only fellowship and relationship with the holy spirit that can give you this access it's a gift of knowledge so pray for it pray for it the supernatural insight and access that you have into past and present events look the shouting is too much oh. the begging is too much let this gift help you the gospel is superior and i want you to cry out and ask god to activate these gifts of the spirit in your life pray for access pray for insight pray for knowledge pray for supernatural insight pray for illumination into events the knowledge to help you make sense of the happenings in your life the knowledge to help you make sense of the happenings in your life and the knowledge to judge correctly when it comes to matters of faith and taking the right action so that you no wonder away from the things of God. For our prayer intentions today, I want you to pray intentionally for the gift of knowledge. And then you pray about your own personal intentions. So it is time for, for us to pray now. Pray for the activation of the gift of knowledge in your life in the life of your loved ones and pray for your own personal intentions you can now begin to say your prayers now
let us pray. Holy Spirit, we are calling unto you. We ask you to come and give yourself to us so that we may distinguish evil from good and distinguish wrong from right. Holy Spirit, we ask you to grant us knowledge and bless us with this gift. This gift would make us mindful of our past and worry about the present and guarded as far as the future is concerned. This gift brings forth honey from the rock. It turns difficult things to pleasantness. It turns pains to delight and sins to profit. It is a lantern that will illuminate our way. O oh Lord, your light is for our path. And without it, without it, we go astray. This is the spirit that rescued Israel from slavery in Egypt and freed Joseph from prison. So Lord, we pray that you grant us the spirit of knowledge. Lord, grant us the spirit of knowledge. We need the spirit of knowledge. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Spirit of truth and wisdom, come to us. Spirit of holiness and justice, come to us. Spirit of understanding and counsel, come to us. Spirit of love and joy, come to us. Spirit of peace and patience, come to us. Spirit of meekness and goodness, come to us. Deliver us from evil, O Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, deliver us from impurity of soul and body. Holy Spirit, deliver us from gluttony and sensuality. Holy Spirit, deliver us from attachment to mundane things. Holy Spirit, deliver us from hypocrisy and pretense. Holy Spirit, deliver us from imperfections and deliberate fault. Holy Spirit, deliver us from our own will. Holy Spirit, deliver us from slandering and deceiving our neighbors. Holy Spirit, deliver us from our passions and disorderly appetites. Holy Spirit, deliver us from inattentiveness to thy holy inspirations. Holy Spirit, deliver us from everything that displeases thee. Most loving Father, forgive us. Divine Word, have pity on us. We make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear friends, have a prayerful day. Shalom and God bless you.